everyone. Hey, I wanted to do a little segment about our Christmas tree. We uh, just got a negative comment that we obviously aren't Christians because we have a tree because it's a pagan um, tradition, which I'm sure it is. I'm sure me wearing my pants and probably having my hair up in a ponytail and having makeup and earrings, those are, those are um, pagan traditions also. And that's the neat thing about being a Christ follower is he came to abolish all of those um, judgmental laws. So I wanted to show you some special things about our Christmas tree. Um, every year I get the kids an ornament and so when they get married they're going to have 20, 30 ornaments to take um, to their new house and they can start their own traditions. But So I'm going to just show you some of our ornaments so you guys can learn a little bit more about us. So here you go. See this one right here? That's a little Nutcracker buffoon. I got that in 1977 when I was in the Nutcracker at the ripe old age of, I don't know, maybe eight. And then right here, that is Sean's dad. He passed away a couple years ago. And every time we look at that ornament, we think of Papa Yum Yum. Every single one of these ornaments has some sort of... Um, memory or significance this one <laughs> this is uh one that i got for austin this is when we were doing quite well and i could spend some money on some ornaments um and this is the year he went to washington dc and so that's a really nice one this one right here is one of austin's it says sweet land of liberty austin used to sing the national anthem when he was four all over the place so that's to remember that um, this little Bob the Builder, that was the year Connor, he was little, he was like three or four, and he had a Bob the Builder hardworking birthday party, and he was totally into Bob the Builder, so, uh, let me see if I can, there's, we have some, obviously we have some crosses, because, um, being a Christ follower is such a huge part of our life, um, so we obviously have those on the tree, um, here is, a guitar that's Connor's also let me get some of the other oh this is Whitney or Tiffany's that's her very first that's the year she was born and then she got that let me get some of Whitney's I can't find her. oh here's here's little wit and then here's this is one of my just a San Diego thong flip-flop I guess oh this one's really cool these little moccasins that's the year that Connor and I went to um, we went to the Grand Canyon together and so that's to remember that trip and then poor Tiffany she's so funny she's like I don't have any ornaments well she's only six so she she put all of hers right here all together and then the dolphin because she's such an animal lover she loves the animals this one right here, this is a cool one. This says 1999. Look at that. I've got my little wreath in my hand too. But my grandpa, which is the kid's great grandpa, Grandpa Woodworker, Grandpa Norm, he made this one. And I have a couple other wooden ornaments that Grandpa made. So, yes, this is a pagan tradition. Oh, here's a surfboard. Um, that the kids got me one year. Here's the Star of David because we have to remember our, our roots, Old Testament. Here's an ornament of the, uh, the nativity. This, this one's fun. This is Austin. He was a skateboarder. He loves skateboarding and snowboarding. So actually, where's his snowboard one? Surfboard. What? No, it's, oh, yeah. oh, here's a snowboard. Okay, this snowboard, he got that the year he went snowboarding. He hurt his shoulder. And forevermore he has pains because of that one injury. We still to this day are frustrated over that. Oh, this one is, this is one of Whitney's. This is a year we had a really, really tough year. And I got this, Whitney, I don't even know if you know this. I got this one at a garage sale. Um, but that was her ornament for that year. I did yours. So, oh, here's um, Starbucks. Because Sean and I love Starbucks, as you guys know. We're, oh, this is also, we have a ton of these little, um, these hummingbirds. My granny passed away a few years ago, and she loved hummingbirds. So 
that year as a present I got everybody hummingbird ornaments so there's a whole bunch on the tree so when the kids go away and get married they'll each get a hummingbird ornament to remember their great-grandma or great-granny from so um, I showed Whitney. Which one? The picture of her. I showed the picture of. Oh no! This this <laughs> yeah. I showed. This is little Whitney too. Look at how cute she is. What so happened? yes, every single one of these ornaments. Yeah, I'm sure some of them are pagan, but um, I'm sorry. They mean a lot to us. I know I got that one. So and and um, it's kind of a history of our family. It's it's kind of a heritage. Here's. Austin grades two, and uh, every single one of these has a really, really special meaning. I think it means me more to me than the anybody else, but I don't know. It's my little my little history. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, this one, Whitney. She uh, is a piano player, and that's been the toughest part about living in San Diego. Is she? Uh, she we don't have a piano here for her, so that just kind of breaks her heart. But maybe one of these days she'll get a piano. So thank you so much. I hope that helps you to know a little bit more about us. And uh, we'd love to hear some of your traditions and some of the things you do that are special for the holidays and Christmas time that help you remember the birth of Christ and just your family, what family means to you. So let us know what you guys do. Talk to you later. Bye.